Hello and welcome once again to CanonBlogger.com, your online resource for everything from Photoshop video, tips and tricks, to camera articles with thoughts, concepts, and ideas relating to photography. Thanks for tuning in, and now for today's video podcast tip. Hello and welcome once again to CanonBlogger.com. Today I'm going to show you how to create this globe inside of Photoshop as well as the drop shadow and the lighting effects as well as the gradient background effects to this image so that you can take these settings and recreate it or you can apply your own settings for entirely different effects as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start from scratch. I'm going to close this and not save it. And then I'll start an entirely new document. And how you set your width and height and resolution is entirely up to you. You do want to set your color mode to grayscale and your bit depth to 8 bits. Transparency is up to you as well. I'm going to go ahead and leave these values in place. And I'll stretch this out so we can see everything that's going on here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the globe filter. And that's going to happen by going to Filter, Render, 3D Transform. If you don't have the 3D Transform option here, it's probably because it did not perform that install when you did your Photoshop installation. If you don't have it, go to your Photoshop CD. Select the Goodies folder, Optional Plugin subfolder, and then the Filters subfolder inside of that. And you can pull this 3D Transform filter set out of there and put it to your Photoshop installation. There's another one in there called Texture Fill as well that you can use if you'd like to as well. I'm going to go ahead and only use the 3D Transform one today though. So with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the Filter, Render, 3D Transform. And it's going to pull up the 3D Transform dialog box. Inside of that, I'm going to go ahead and click the globe. And I'm going to click and drag to create a globe the size that I want, like so. Then I'm going to rotate that. And actually, I think they call that something else. It's called the trackball tool inside of Photoshop. I rotate it because that's what I think I'm doing. I'm rotating it around. And basically, what you want to do is try and get rid of anything that's transparent. That's why I have a transparent background in there, so I can make sure that I'm getting rid of that in creating the globe itself. Go ahead and click OK, and that will apply the globe inside of your document for you. At this point you do want to go ahead and switch from grayscale mode to RGB mode so you can do the color effect that you want. Having done that, I'm going to go ahead and click on Control A and select the Move tool so that I can center this horizontally and vertically inside of Photoshop. Control D will take me back to my edit mode. Now at this point I'm going to go ahead and double click on that to, to the Layer Styles window. Inside the Layer Styles window I'm going to go ahead and apply a drop shadow and I'm also going to apply a color overlay. Uh, the settings that I use for drop shadow are multiply. I drop my opacity down to 50%. And I'm going to set my angle to 139. And I'm going to set my distance to 44. My spread to 18. And my size to 54. And I will go ahead and show you all these settings at the end. So don't worry about writing them down right now. I'll go ahead and click on OK. Oh, I didn't do the color. Let me go back and do the color real quick. I'm going to go to the color overlay and I'm going to change the color settings to 103, 129 for the green, and 202 for the blue. And that's going to create a nice effect in there. With my opacity in there, I'm going to set that down to about 30% as well. About like that. And that's going to create a nice globe effect in there. From that, I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. Now I'm going to make this my background layer with the gradient, so I'm going to go ahead and click that underneath. I'm going to select my gradient tool, and I'm going to click and drag across there, and I'll give you the gradient values at the end of the tutorial as well. So there's the gradient that I've applied. And I'm going to, last but not least, I'm going to put another new layer in, pull that up to the top, and because I want to apply a lighting effect to this, I have to have pixels in there. Since there's nothing in there, I'm going to go ahead and make that a grayscale layer by hitting shift backspace on my keyboard, filling that with 50% gray. Once that's filled, I'm going to go ahead and switch this to the overlay rather than normal so I won't see it. Now I can go ahead and apply the lighting effect. So I'm going to go to Filter, Render, apply the Lens Flare effect. There's the Lens Flare effect right in there. I have it set to 50 by 300 at a brightness level of 118. And then I position it over so that the light source is kind of in line with the way the gradient's going across. Go ahead and click OK and the lighting effect is created. 
At that point, I would then right click and flatten the image so that way you can see it. The other option to flatten the image, if you don't want to right click or if you don't have a right click available, you can click on the flyout wheel and flatten your image that way. So that's pretty much how to create the globe inside of Photoshop fairly quickly. I'll go ahead and show you the settings that I used throughout the tutorial right here. The globe color overlay is 103, 129, 202 for RGB. The globe drop shadow was multiplied. I had the opacity set to 50, the angle 139, distance 44, spread 18, and size of 54. And there are my gradient starting and ending colors, the left side and the right side. So that's pretty much it. If anyone has any questions, comments, or feedback they'd like to share, or if you have ideas for future tutorials, feel free to contact me. My address, as always, is jason at canonblogger.com. Thanks for tuning in. You all have a great day. Bye.